Hi, this is Lee Nicola. If you are new here, welcome to our channel. Today we will be discussing how New Hampshire lawmaker opposes the new marriage bill and says teens are of ripe, fertile age. On this channel, we speak on issues affecting humanity, anxiety, depression, health, and wellness, as well as motivate and inspire others to help them along their YouTube journey. In a jaw-dropping display of bizarre reasoning, a certain New Hampshire lawmaker has stirred up a storm of laughter and incredulity by opposing a new marriage bill. But hold your guffaws. It's not just any run-of-the-mill bill opposition. No, this politician believes that teens are at a ripe, fertile age. Oh, my stars, past the smelling salts, we're in for a wild ride. Picture this, a legislative chamber, somber and serious, filled with lawmakers debating the merits of a new marriage bill. And then, like a bull in a china shop of common sense, comes forth this gem of a statement. Teens are of ripe, fertile age. It's the stuff of comedy legend, folks. But before we dive headfirst into the absurdity of it all, let's take a step back and set the stage. New Hampshire land of the free and home of the quirky lawmakers, finds itself embroiled in a debate over marriage laws. Now, this isn't your typical debate over tax codes or infrastructure spending. No, this is a debate over the very fabric of society, the institution of marriage itself. And who better to add a touch of surrealism to the proceedings than our dear lawmaker? Now, you might be wondering... Who is this fearless champion of teenage romance? Well, dear listener, brace yourself for the revelation. It's none other than Jess Edwards, the self-proclaimed connoisseur of all things ripe and fertile, with a flair for the dramatic and a penchant for unintended comedy. Jess Edwards has become the unwitting star of the political circus. So, what exactly is Jess Edwards' bone of contention with this new marriage bill. Brace yourselves, for the answer may cause spontaneous fits of laughter. According to our intrepid lawmaker, teens are at a ripe, fertile age, and thus should not be barred from the joys of wedded bliss. Oh, the humanity! Oh, the hilarity! But let's not dismiss Jess Edwards' argument out of hand. After all, in the grand tradition of political absurdity, there's often a kernel of sincerity buried beneath the layers of comedy gold. Perhaps Jess Edwards genuinely believes that teenagers are ready for the responsibilities of marriage, or perhaps they simply have a flair for the dramatic and a knack for unintentional comedy. Either way, it's comedy gold. As the debate rages on, with lawmakers and pundits alike, struggling to maintain their composure in the face of such absurdity, one thing becomes abundantly clear. This lawmaker has inadvertently become the face of a movement. A movement to bring levity and laughter to the often dreary world of politics. A movement to embrace the absurdity of the human condition and revel in the hilarity of it all. So, as we bid adieu to our dear Jess Edwards, let us not mourn the loss of rational discourse, but rather, let us celebrate the joy and laughter they have brought into our lives. For in a world fraught with seriousness and solemnity, we could all use a good laugh now and then. And if nothing else, Jess Edwards has certainly delivered on that front. Ah, but the saga of Jess Edwards doesn't end with a mere declaration of teen ripeness. No, dear listener, prepare yourself for a wild roller coaster of absurdity as we delve deeper into the mind boggling antics of our beloved lawmaker. As the news of Jess Edwards' statement spreads like wildfire through the halls of power, reactions pour in from all corners of the political spectrum. Some are aghast, clutching their pearls in disbelief. Others, however, see the humor in the situation and can't help but chuckle at the sheer audacity of it all. Meanwhile, social media explodes with memes and jokes, each one more outrageous than the last. 
from photoshopped images of teen brides clutching bouquets of ripe fruit to hashtag campaigns proclaiming hashtag ripe teens for marriage. The internet has never seen such a frenzy of comedic creativity. Well, buckle up, folks, because the comedy train just made a stop at Republican state reppin Jess Edwards, bless his heart, has gifted us with another gem of unintentional hilarity. In a move that can only be described as jaw-droppingly ridiculous, Edwards claimed that a new bill would make abortion more appealing to girls who are at a ripe, fertile age. Hold on to your hats, because this ride is about to get bumpy. Now let's unpack this statement, shall we? First of all, the mental image of a bill making abortion seem more desirable is, to put it mildly, a bit of a stretch. Last time I checked, bills weren't exactly known for their persuasive powers when it comes to life-altering decisions. But hey, maybe I missed the memo on that one. And then there's the whole ripe, fertile age comment. I mean, seriously? Are we talking about girls or bananas here? Because last time I checked, human beings don't ripen like fruit. But hey, who am I to argue with the wisdom of Reppers Edwards? But wait... It gets better. Not only did Edwards make this mind-boggling statement, but it was also captured on video and posted to X, formerly known as Twitter, where it has racked up over a million views. Ah, the wonders of modern technology. Who knew that political gaffes could be so entertaining? As the Internet collectively scratches its head in confusion, one can't help but marvel at the sheer audacity of it all. I mean... You've got to hand it to Rapper Edwards. He sure knows how to grab people's attention. Whether it's intentional or not is another question entirely, but hey, let's give credit where credit is due.